What is the greatest baseball video game ever made? For a long time, I thought it was MVP Baseball 2005. I thought that was the absolute pinnacle of baseball video gaming. I'm sure some of you are sounding off in the comments right now about Backyard Baseball or even some of the more recent releases of MLB The Show. But no, I'm going to present to you what truly is the greatest baseball video game ever made. So what makes this game so great? The answer is realism. We know that the hardest thing to do in sports is to hit a baseball. This is a video game that takes that fact to heart, and the end result is a faithful recreation of the game of baseball that we all know and love. Of course, I'm talking about Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby. Specifically, Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby Japanese Edition. The Japanese Edition has long been known as the most difficult version of the game. This, my friends, is the greatest baseball video game ever created because it respects how difficult it is to hit a baseball. Do not be fooled by the colorful 100 acre wood. Do not be fooled by the lovable characters of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. This is a serious game for serious baseball minds. This is a game that will break you. In Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby, we are asked to play through eight stages, facing off against various pitchers from the 100 Acre Wood. Stage one, as you can see, is Eeyore. But you know what? I'm confident. This is a game for children, and I am a 25 and a half year old man who is also a baseball expert. So I should be able to breeze right through this thing. Eeyore, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna make you even more depressed than you already are. That was just foul. That was just foul, but I almost homered there. Just foul. There it is. That's my first home run of the day. It's gonna be the first of many, Eeyore. Now my goal for this stage is to hit three home runs. I have 10 pitches to hit three home runs. As you can see, I've already hit two home runs. So I'm just, I'm killing the game right now. There's three in a row. Just chalk them up. You know, this is what baseball expertise comes down to, you know. I'm an expert on the swing and miss. That's okay, a little swing and miss never hurt anyone. What we often forget is that the top home run hitters in any given season strike out a lot too. That's just a fact of baseball. I understand that and I just have to accept it. Look, I've already hit five home runs. I've hit five home runs, my goal was three. I'm an overachiever. How about a sixth? How about a sixth, Eeyore? How does that feel, you mopey little donkey? Seven. Seven, straight away center field, beautiful, 136 meter shot from Pooh. Let's finish off this stage with an eighth. Just a dominant performance from me, dominant performance from Winnie the Pooh. Needed to hit three home runs, I hit eight. This is a very important part of the game because I just hit eight home runs and that gave me 1,867 points. And what I can do with these points is upgrade my character. I know that this one right here means power, which is at level zero. I know this one right here means contact. I never really figured out what this one meant. I, I don't know what this one means, but my strategy is gonna be just upgrade whatever's the cheapest. So we're gonna upgrade this one first. It's a mystery to me. Let's upgrade contact, let's upgrade power. And you know what? Let's just upgrade the magic one again. I don't know what that one does, but I'm sure I gotta be good at it if I wanna win Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby. My second opponent appears to be a Heffalump of some sorts. I don't think there's any woozles in this game, but I am facing off against a Heffalump, which is of course what Winnie the Pooh calls elephants. As far as, you know, using my expert scouting eye, if I'm trying to scout this pitcher and figure out how to beat him or her, I don't know the gender of this Heffalump, I'm seeing a delivery that is more deceptive than Eeyore's. I see the trunk swinging back and forth, and I think timing up on that it has been a challenge so far. Obviously, uh, as a master of baseball and a master of video games, I, I'm ready for that challenge, but that is a deceptive delivery. And I will also say that the velocity compared to Eeyore, I think, is, is higher. I think uh, this Heffalump is throwing gas compared to Eeyore. Okay, that was my 10th home run. Only needed five, so well ahead of schedule. Just need to get as many home runs as I can because home runs equates to points, points equates to upgrades, and that's gonna help me later in the game. All right, last pitch coming up. Send it oppo, a little oppo taco action from Winnie the Pooh, well done. 13 home runs, only needed five, easy. Easy, this is a game for children, I'm a man. 
All right, using the upgrades right now. Just upgrade whatever's the cheapest. I'm just trying to get levels wherever I can get them. That's the name of the game. I need levels, baby. Okay, now stage three is Piglet, and I'll be honest with you, I'm all over Piglet. You know, I know Piglet is Winnie the Pooh's best friend, but at this point we're enemies. That's a swing and miss right there from Winnie the Pooh, but I'm all over it. Of course, as I say that, swing and a miss and a foul ball. That's no good. There we go. That's my fourth home run. I need eight. Piglet, definitely more velocity, as you can see. I was a little bit late on that one, but... Um, it's kind of flat, you know, I don't think it has really the spin of that you need for like a effective two-seamer or four-seamer. It's just kind of easy to track. I think he, he is potentially touching 90, but uh, again, with my eighth home run enough to pass the stage, I can handle it. You know, as someone who played for the Braves in 2001, this game is just becoming far too easy for me. I'm just all over Piglet no matter what. Pull it, send it to straightaway center, doesn't matter. Winnie the Pooh's just, it's just built different. Guy's not even wearing any pants, he's hitting bombs. Okay, 16 homers off Piglet. Of course, that passes the stage. We only needed eight. Let's use our sweet, sweet upgrades. This might be my favorite part of the game, to be honest. It's just kind of very satisfying. All right. Now I'm seeing that stage four is against both Kanga and Rue. Now this is interesting to me. I wonder if they're kind of like an opener and a follower type thing that like the Tampa Bay Rays are using. I wonder if Rue is sort of a Diego Castillo and I wonder if Kanga is a, you know, a Ryan Yarborough. All right, let's see what, ooh. Well, that thing is bouncing up and down. Uh, it appears to come at a variety of speeds. I'm not sure if I like that. This one's coming in slow. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. But that thing is bouncing up and down like you know, again, I'm not a physics expert, but I just don't think this one would be capable of being thrown by a major league pitcher. And that makes me think that Kanga and Roos should probably leave the 100 acre wood and, and try to try out for an MLB team. All right, I'm starting to sort of figure this charade out. You know, it's tricky. The The speeds may change, but the pitch remains the same. And, and Winnie the Pooh has hit three home runs in a row off Kanga and Roos. One eye open home run, easy. Easy. Take that, Trevor Bauer. And there's number 12. That's what we needed to pass the stage. Loving it. But again, gotta run up the score on these guys, okay? Doesn't matter if you're a cute little kangaroo. I'm out for blood. I need the points, because I need the upgrades. Okay, last pitch coming up. I was impressed with Kanga and Roo's pitch, but just too easy for me. This is a game for children, and uh, I expect to breeze through the rest of the stages at this point. This is actually what happens when you go to driveline. They just start giving you a bunch of honey pots, and you become better at baseball because of it. Now I'm facing off against Rabbit here for stage five. I think Rabbit's kind of like the straight man of this comedic universe. You know, he's kind of like a, a Squidward or even like a Kermit the Frog. He's surrounded by very silly characters, but he himself is not particularly silly. But that's where a lot of comedy can, can stem from. You know, you need those contrasts. Um, as far as Rabbit the pitcher, I'm kicking his butt. One thing that makes this game so great and realistic is that it respects the platoon advantage. And you'll notice that Rabbit is a left-handed pitcher, but Pooh, a right-handed hitter, that's going to give Pooh the advantage. And so that makes this, again, a really realistic depiction of the game of baseball. Now what's interesting about Rabbit is he throws a pitch that starts off slow, but then speeds up. Um, but it's actually more predictable than what Kanga and Rue throw, I think. I, I would actually say that Rabbit is an easier opponent than Kanga and Rue at this point in the game. Of course, as I say that, foul ball, but it was pulled down the line. Carlton Fisk. Ooh, little oppo. You know, Rabbit, this stuff might work at like rookie ball, but once you start getting to the upper levels of the minors, guys are just gonna be all over it. There's just, there's just no chance here unless he adjusts. Of course, Winnie the Pooh is basically Mike Trout. In fact, he just hit his 27th home run to celebrate Mike Trout. There it is, final home run of the round. Beautiful, majestic blast from Winnie the Pooh. We hit 28 home runs, only needed 15. An unbelievable performance on my part. I'm a master of video games and baseball. So many points, so many points, so many points. Ugh. Wonderful, over 12,000 meters of home runs. Okay, so stage six 
is against Owl. And the thing about Owl is that he's a very scholarly character. And I wonder if he's going to end up being sort of a student of the game. This is a guy who's going to read up everything he can about pitching mechanics and physics. He's going to work out in front of the Edgertronic camera. This is the smartest character in the Wayne the Pooh universe, and, and we just kind of have to respect that. I need 19 home... What is that? What is that from Owl? I've... I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. This is a pitch... You, how can you consistently make contact with this? I, I just... I just don't know how to handle this guy. Ugh, foul ball. I mean, I need to hit 19 homers. Like, I need to homer in like 60% of these pitches. Ooh, there's Oppo. There's Oppo. I just need to really bear down and focus against Owl because he, this guy's an ace. This, this stuff... This stuff plays no matter where you are, whether it's 100 acre wood or, you know, course field. I mean, swing and miss. Come on, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. It's a game for Japanese children. You can do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. No, not. <laughs> That's not even warning track. Oh, no. <laughs> this is going. No. I need homers. I need homers. Oh my gosh, I've lost it. Oh no, not another foul, dude, no! There it is. I just need to do that ten more times. How can I hit that? How am I supposed to hit that? Oh no! Dude, he is, he is Jacob deGrom. There's no other explanation. Jacob deGrom has dressed up as an owl. He has entered this video game. And he's just giving it to me right now. He is giving me the business. Oh no, now you- Oh, give me the wall scraper. This game is over. I've, I've run out of pitches. And it uh, looks like Owl's gonna get the best of me. I mean, that, that one's nice, but... This game is over. I, I can't pass the stage. Alright, last pitch from Owl. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. And even though he gets a called strike, I showed him that I'm willing to take a pitch. And I think that was a victory for me. However, I lost. I was completely humiliated by Owl. I needed to hit 19 home runs. I hit 15 home runs. <sighs> okay. I was defeated by Owl today. I breezed through Piglet and the Heffalump and Kanga and Roo and Eeyore and Rabbit, but Owl has gotten the better of me today. But Owl, this is a message for you. You may have won the battle, but you have not won the war. Wins above replacement. To be continued.